So we got this new stand working, new old stand, just to figure out that it had a hydraulic leak when you pumped it. It's not a bad leak, it's just got a little drop, it's okay. Yeah, a little bit drop. All right, well I don't think this motor is gonna work. We need to get it up off the ground just in case, right? It's pretty crusty. Okay, me, give me something under there. What about those wood blocks right there? I bet it's not going to pull anyway. Stack them under there. You got to stack them. In the middle. Come on, dude. The wheels ain't touching the ground, right? Yep. I'm going to guess the motor ain't going to do nothing. That could be wrong. It's trying. All right. I think it's working. It's trying. It's a little stiff. The motor's trying to work. So the motor ain't completely hoop a juke, right? Yeah. You might just get to get these off and clean these up. It's a little hard to turn. So let's see if we can get um, this bolt off, maybe that gear off, and maybe we can get these, because there should be bearings under here. I think the bearings are all crusty. And we might be able to get the batteries out of that power core E100 well, maybe, down there. Maybe. Slam them in here and get Well, that's just the motor. That's not the controller. I just checked the motor works. That doesn't mean any of this other stuff works. We might still have to do some stuff. But let's first get it to spin better, right? Because it's not turning very good. So let's let's see if we can get this loose first and maybe get that to get the bearings work on. And just in case you wanted to know, this is the razor ground for us. Let's find something better to stick under it though, because we have plans to maybe put cart tires on the front and if under, we can oh, you probably can't carry it. put mom's mower. Tires on the back. One more tires. Watch your step, man. Alright. Give me here for a minute. Can you back that up? Yeah. You go hard in it. Good enough. So it falls off, right? How do I move it to the middle? Mm -hmm. The right. It'll stay there. That'd be, that'd be All right, let's see if we can get this gear off. Get the gear off of here. We move you guys to the other side. It's not going to work for me, is it? Chain ain't good. Chain ain't in great shape. It's got a set screw right here. See that? Yep. They can't see that, but that's a set screw. Maybe we can get that loose and move the gear. Mm -hmm. And then we can maybe get this chain off. The other option is there is a tensioner here. See this? There's the chain tensioner. Maybe we can just see if we can loosen the chain. See if we can do that? Yep. I think all we'll need is some new bearings, maybe a new controller and a switch, because the switch won't stay in one I position. Don't, I don't know. Without getting vibration. You're getting ahead of yourself again. Yeah. No way to know until we get in it. Hopefully. No slack in that motor. Bracket here. And no. Is that just dirt? Might just be dirt pumped up under it. Maybe it just comes down really slow. It's coming down, I think. Mean. Slow. This is the same motor as my beast. There we go. Now we're down all the way. There we go. Basically, loose enough. They're all the same motor. This is just 20 volt, 24 volt motor. I can't they talk. pretty much come as 12 or 24, right? Yep. I think we're bottomed out just about now. And this is a razor motor made oh. specially to go on this. On these wheels are aluminum, as you can see, probably. Okay. I think they might be. It might be aluminum, it might be plastic, who knows? Yeah, Alright, so we need to do like aluminum. What we need to do is get this chain off of here. I was hoping we had enough room to do it, but I don't know if we do. 
Okay. I don't know if that's going to come down any farther. Close to coming off, but not quite. About as close, as close, as small and low as it's going to get there. I don't know if we can get this to come off or not. Hmm. Me. Starting to want to pop off. There we go. Okay. That motor turns good. All that friction is in this axle. There is a brake. I don't think the brake is on. He's rubbing a little bit, but the brake ain't on, is it? Seems like it's the bearings. They're starting to come a little loose, but... Yeah, that motor goes good. Yep. Probably gonna have to free that up. It's hard for me to push it. Uh, and it's not like my bike here. where I don't really need the brakes. It's electric. I'm gonna want brakes. My bike, I can stop with my foot. This, probably not. I bet it's the bearings down here doing it, and not the brake. Yep. I can hear the brake rubbing. I don't think it's rubbing that much. I don't think there's any adjustment to loosen the brake cable anymore, though. I think it's all the way, all the way loose already. One wheel drive. Does have a bad cable. It could be kinking it. This wheel is kind of um, flat, and that one's kind of bubbled up. That's the drive up. wheel. It burned all the, the tire off of this one, right? Yep. I wish we could get this battery tray out of here, but they welded it in. Yeah, that's definitely Can't a Can't see wheel. nothing through it. Let's see the brake. Where's the battery box? I need to get down and adjust this brake, but uh, I can't very well see it good. Alright, now get these blocks out of the way. Right, let's see if we can get this loose, the wheel and whatnot. Yep. Maybe we can get that loose and we'll see if we can get the see if it's the bearing. And if it ain't, we'll work on that brake. We have to get it up higher in the air or upside down or something. That's gonna be a problem. We kind of bought this expecting it to not work. Uh, there it's we the go. exact opposite. It works, it just needs bearings. And the front bearings are fine for the front. Oh my god. So when we get new tires for it and new bearings, it might just run. I don't know. Speed control up there is still. Motor controller is still kind of all rusty looking. We'll have to see. Could be it's just cracked and busted, but it still works. Alright, so here's the wheel. It's got a standard key. See this woodruff key right here? I'm gonna look through key. This woodruff key right here is what drives the wheel. So we can't lose that. Otherwise, this wheel would spin like the rest of them. See, without that, this wheel will just spin on the axle. It spins, eh? Yep. The wood roof key is what drives it. Let's get this boot off. Here, we'll see if we can see what those look like if we don't break the bolts off. Get in here. Got some rust. It's definitely as heavy as aluminum. That one came right loose. That one even tight. This one here looks bent, though. That one got me a bit worried here. Might take a bit of persuasion. This one looks bent. Eh? Looks like she wants to come out of there though. Maybe it won't be too bad. Probably we'll Plug not. it in and see. Ooh, I hear that fan though. It's not your complaining. Uh -huh. You ain't the only one that complains, dude. I can complain too. You ain't got a monopoly on complaining. There's a C-clip back here. I ain't sure which way these bearings come out. 
Can't be much of a bearing as thin as that is. Is it a fan or what? No. It's a fan. That's it. Alright, alright. I'm going to hold the English. It's because you are a fan. I've uh, had enough of you today, dude. I've had enough of you. Mm hmm. Close the microphone. I bet they'll hear us. I think that's a bearing seal there. It's got a C-clip back here. I'm trying to figure out if the axle has to go that way. I may have to take this other wheel off. Let's see if the axle slides out, maybe that way. Yeah. Let's see. Even tight. <laughs> and this is the key. Hold on, turn the whole axle on it. Wood drift key. Turn on the whole axle. That ain't gonna get us nowhere. Is there a wrench hole on this thing? I might put wires on it. Yeah, turn the whole axle on it. Ain't gonna get us good. That ain't gonna help us. I can't tell if this is a bolt. Nope. All right, let me see if I can get some wires on it. Probably keep these tires on a shelf Probably. just in case we need them. Probably. <clears throat> that wasn't too bad. Not as bad as I thought it would be, Rusty. Yeah. I mean, it looks bad, but all the bolts are coming out pretty good. Maybe I'll make a wheelie bar for that electric dirt bike and I'll use these. For a wheelie bar? A wheelie bar? Come on, get up there. For an electric dirt bike. For an electric dirt bike, who doesn't need a wheelie bar? Alright. I'm gonna be a cameraman now. I'm being a cameraman because you're moving too much. Well, I'm just trying to get some food, bud. I'm gonna have to be a This is what fell on the top. <laughs> These are standard skateboard bearings, and they are stiff. This one spins all right, but they're standard skateboard bearings. We might even have some of those. At least pop them out and clean them, right? My skateboard has some, but I'm not donating. Yeah, let's see if we can get this one to come loose. The front ones spin real good. This one ain't too shabby. Yeah, the front ones ain't too shabby. The front ones are going to be all right. I think it's these bearings that are causing us trouble. Or like I said, the brake might be rubbing. And we'll find out. I think I need to get that bearing off first, though. Let me see if I can find a punch. I was wondering, if we're going to convert this thing to bigger tires, how we're gonna, are we going to find a tire with a wood key? We'll have to make something. Out of a park tire. We'll have to make something to, to con connect. We can do it. We'll be able to do it. Just gotta make something we'll connect into that. Jeez, old Pete. I don't know, bud. Mm -hmm. We might do some cleaning up on that shaft before we get that one off. Let's see if we can get the rest of this loose and get those other bearings looked at. That bearing might have to get changed out. They all have holes for woodruff keys. Yeah, I imagine they make one kind of wheel. You can change it out. When that wheel gets wore out, you can just change it over, right? I think we'll put the worn out wheel on this side and this wheel on that side. Why do you always have to sit down? Because I'm old. Why do you always gotta complain? Why do old people get special privileges? Because I'm old. You want me to fix this thing or not? I want you to fix this thing. Fix it up. Enough hands. I'll probably ride it out of the barn if you move this motorcycle stand when we get it running. We're a ways away from that, bud. Jump the gunny.
Yeah, I think we moved a, a hair, but not very much. I don't think, I mean, we're moving it, but I don't think it's going to come off without wrecking the bearings. It is pretty rusty on. We got her to move a little. Still pretty stuck. Oh, wax. Viewers, you're not missing anything. You're just whacking a bearing. I don't need to be bidding this part anyway. It's boring. There's stuff for me to have to edit out later. Okay, so I finally got this stupid thing off. Hole in the bearing. A little rusty, right? Yep. Got a little rusty. Ow. It's moving barely. You see it just a little proud now? We ain't moving it very much. Once it comes loose, it'll come loose. But man, it's fighting the whole way, isn't it? Got some more oil. Well, we're going to do that in here. This chain is starting to annoy me here. No matter how where I tuck it and start banging, it falls right back down. Finally got that dumb bearing out. Yep, it's cleaning up the shaft now. It's all rust pitted and nasty and dinged up. We boogered it up. Yeah, we did some of that with a punch, right? Yep. Trying to get that bearing out. We had to beat the crap out of that bearing. It was stuck. And we really did. We blew it right apart. You can feel from it. We blew it to bits. You know, this rust off of here. I need some bunch of So. Now we just get the axle. Order bearings. Out. I don't think we need the axle out. Right. The axle can stay in there. We'll order bearings. Try to test the motor, make sure if it runs better without all the rusty bearings, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's only 12 volts, but it ought to still make it go. Yep. Because I'm thinking it was just terrible bearings making that run that slow. I mean, it's only 12 volts, so it shouldn't run full speed anyway, but it should have still went better than that. Let's arc it to the controller and see if the speed controller well, we'll works. Have to look at the controller later. Oh, it's probably more. I don't know if see that motor. I can hear it. Oh, maybe. Yeah, there's a frame rail right in the way. Frame rail right in the way. There it is. Motor. Kind of centered. Touch motor battery. All right. That's only 12 volts, but it still goes, right? Careful. You got to touch it positively. You got to touch it. And... All right. Good enough. Yep. So the motor works. We need to see if the speed controller works still. Yep, and maybe we'll test both of them at once. Well, I'm going to guess this throttle is completely... Eh, I guess the throttle ain't completely hosed up after all, is it? Where's that throttle go? Let's put it on the ground. I like to be sitting on it. I don't care where it all goes, bud. All right, so that's electric electric controller there. We probably need a multimeter to test that. All right, throttle. I got nothing. I am pretty sure that they cross over to this one. Hit her again. Yeah, I think we're just full froze open. That's Hooper duped. We got another one we can test to be sure though. Pull her up. Yeah, this one works. Maybe we could try to get it onto the scooter handlebars. So this one works. I don't know if there's room because it'd have to go. We could try to shimmy it on there. But I this one doesn't move very much, does it? Yeah, it's because it's the same one over there, only one steer. Right. But I'd like to be able to grip the steering wheel well, like we can, this. I'm just trying to get it working, bud. Like I'm just telling you, the motor's not going to go. You were talking about trying to hook the control box to it. We already got a problem, right? Like I said, it's not going to be as easy as just putting a battery in and making it go, bud. So, the motor works. Get off of there. As your motor goes, I'm going to guess that this control box does not. I'll have to check it still. All right, so we got that speed controller, the motor controller off, right? Yep. And that's this box right here. 
They can't see because the frame's in the way. Don't worry, the frame's in my way every time I need to do something new. This wire goes up here. What in the world? Alright. That unplugged. That unplugged. Alright, so here is the motor control. And I'm just going to guess because it's being done in the rain a lot, but this probably ain't good, but we're going to try to test it anyway. Completely frazzle-dazzle. We can test it. The plug ain't good. My good, look at this plug. Plug's all broke. That plug's completely broke, man. I don't know if we can use that or not. We might need to steal a plug off of one of the other wiring lanes or Somebody something. Somebody murdered this one here. What does this go to, this wire? I don't know what that goes to. Oh, I know what that goes to. What's it go to? Let me check the loose here. Goes up to the front. Oh, that's a brake. Um, the brake? Yeah, it goes up to the brake. Okay. I wonder that's what that does. Long. I wonder what that does. Turn the motor off, maybe? So you don't burn the motor up? All right. And that turns the motor off. These wires are all busted. Might need a new wiring. I think we can fix this one. It's just been out in the sun a bit. Got all roughed up is all. Surprise, the seat's not faded. Anyway, the motor controller here has probably had quite a bit of water in it. We have another one of these motor controllers, but I think it might be bad because it's from the Bistro, yep. and that didn't work. But we replaced the throttle. It might be good because we replaced the throttle. I think it was actually a throttle on the Bistro that was really bad. I think I was just replacing the other parts because we had them. So that motor controller could be good. Bring it over. I think it looks better in this one anyway. I was just going to crack this one open and see how bad it looks on the inside here if we can. Oh, I might want to see. It might not come apart. Looks like it's full of mud. I bet it's smirked. A lot of mud and water in there that's been rained on. Smirked, smirked. Knock some of the mud out here and. Show me the part that came off. Oh. Here it is. That's just a cover for it. If it wasn't turned on when it was in the mud and didn't freeze, maybe it's all right, but sure it'd be nice if it wasn't full of mud. Got continuity through my finger, but not through the switch. I wonder sure why we got a good continuity through your finger and not the switch. Because the switch is broken and I'm not. Ah, you're pretty broken. Yeah, it runs through my finger. If I touch my finger across them, it works, but not the switch. Well, I am doing nothing. That switch don't work. All right, so we'll pile the bearings up we need. We need one of these two. Good work stuff.
There we go. There we go. I think we're still going to get that bearing off though to get this axle to slide through. Which side did it come out on? The bearing's got to go out that way off the end. Hard. Is that camera in the right spot, man? I don't know. I ain't got the bearing move yet. I ain't gonna do no good until we get the bearing move. Let's see if we can clean this off. Clean up some of the hooks and maybe the gas will soak some of the hooks off there. Turn the floor down there, please. Who said on that ramp plate? Who's the ramp plate? And how many pairs are two of them? Even though we've already got two of them on the stands. Where we need them. I don't think. I mean, we're moving it, but I don't think it's going to come off without wrecking the bearings. It is pretty rusty on. We got her to move a little. Still pretty stuck. Motor works. Ah. Poo, 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 poo. That bearing ain't doing much good here. Just trying to stay on there, which we don't want to do. All right. It didn't give me any room to tap on it with the punch though, so everything's in the road. Come on. Relax, A couple guys. of good smacks had come off, but I can't get any good smacks on it. Relax, viewers, you're not missing anything. You're just whacking a bearing. Need to be bidding this part anyway. It's boring. Stuff for me to have to edit out later. 